Hello, this is Regina Wagner again, real estate agent, with another um, a video of my series, uh, Another Day in a Realtor's Life, Life Cycle of a Listing. And today we are in episode eight, where I explain a little bit about uh, escrow and title and all the important steps till closing to make this deal really happen. So we got this condo in Redmond under contract and we have here a 30 year page contract with all the details about the timeline, the contingencies, uh, all the actions need to do to make this a successful closing. So the first step actually was uh, as soon as we uh, got the contract signed that the buyer's agent is opening escrow and that the earnest money from the buyer was deposited to escrow. So the buyer was very fast. So within one day, uh, he deposited it to his escrow account and the honest money will sit till closing there. And uh, either he will use it for his down payment or his closing costs, or if the deal is not going through, then it's uh, kind of leverage based on the situation, either to return it back to the buyer or give it to the seller based on the situation. Yeah. So uh, the next topic is then the loan approval of the buyer. As a leasing agent, I'm usually calling the buyer's lender directly and ask him, okay, uh, did the buyer already apply for the loan? Was the appraisal ordered? Uh, what is the financial stability of this buyer? And uh, are we uh, on top on uh, the closing timeline will we uh, make this happen on time. In this uh, contract, the lender called me the next day and uh, explained to me that the buyer already applied for a loan and they even ordered the appraisal and got the result back. So this property with an asking price of $490,000, $495,000 was appraised at value, which means was appraised at 520,000. And so this uh, milestone, this major milestone is concluded. This is great. The next topic would be to uh, verify all uh, the lender's documentation from the buyer, the source of the funds, you know, they will also verify uh, the employment of the buyer. And this usually takes two or three weeks. Yeah? Till the regular closing timeline. So the lender was very uh, proactively. He called me uh, every week and gave me the status, uh, what's going on with his client. And so we are already at final approval, uh, final loan approval uh, of the buyer. So this is uh, pretty uh, great for my seller because this deal will go through. Uh, another topic is in parallel, of course, title and escrow is working. So uh, title. Uh, is verifying all the conditions of the property. So usually as a listing agent, I'm ordering the preliminary title commitment before I'm listing the property because I want to know uh, are there any restrictions on the property. Um, for instance, if you have a property which is uh, on the water or has a view, sometimes there are height restrictions uh, on, on the title. So you cannot build another level maybe or sometimes there are ag agricultural restrictions or even tax benefits, which could be uh, dedicated to the new buyer. So all those information uh, needs to be known before we are listing. And in this case, it was a condo. So what we needed to know, of course, is are there any uh, liens on the property, HOA liens, for instance, or is there any special assessment? And with the Title commitment, there are all the bylaws and CCNRs coming with. So the buyer can verify all those information before making an offer, which is a great situation. So in this case, nothing unusual was on the title. So no open liens, no mechanical liens. Um, of course, the taxes need to be paid. Uh, on time and this will be prorated between buyer and, and seller by escrow and also the resale certificate was ordered uh, immediately and so also the resale certificate uh, was uh, given to the buyer 
and also signed by the buyer that he has read all the information and it was uh, also clean. So title commitment pretty good. I received a title report from the title company, WFG National Title we are using in this case. And uh, everything was very nice, everything was clean, no issues. So, and escrow is also working, of course, in parallel. So, um, the first thing what they did, they identified all the personal information from the buyer and from the seller. They are verifying the HOA documentation, asking for an HOA questionnaire to see who is paying the HOA transfer fees. Uh, then escrow will take care of the uh, utilities if they are not included in the HOA because the water bills, for instance, the water statement will go with the property every time. So this was also um, done very well, very fast. And then at the final point, ESCO is preparing a HUD statement. This is actually a statement where it shows what the buyer has to pay, what the seller has to pay, what are the net proceeds, uh, what is the buyer has to bring to the table. And of course, as the agent, buyer's agent or listing agent, you have to verify uh, this document because sometimes there are issues or something was uh, double counted or forgotten. So I verified the HUD statement, of course. It was clean as a whistle, no issues, everything was okay. And I informed my seller that the HUD statement is also, the settlement statement is also ready for sign. So the next step uh, for the seller and the buyer will be uh, to be invited to the signing. Signing usually um, will take uh, place two or three days before the closing deadline, depending on, of course, the availability of uh, the parties. Uh, I am recommending every time that the signing uh, will come by mobile notary, which means that the notary will come to the place of the seller at home or at work, whatever works best. And um, so all the documentation should be reviewed by the seller uh, 24 hours prior. So usually I'm recommending that uh, uh, ESCO is sending those documents prior to the signing, that the seller can go through all the documentation and verify everything is in order. Most important thing, of course, that the seller has to tell to ESCO where to send the net proceeds of the deal uh, at time of closing. So we are now in this final stage. Uh, the next uh, topic to do is actually to destage the property. So I will call my stager and uh, let her know that she can move out all the furniture. Uh, then the buyer will do his final walkthrough. And when everything is in order, then uh, escrow will verify also the buyer's loan documents, which is actually the basis for the settlement statement also. And then also the buyer will sign. And when all the parties have signed, then escrow will send everything to King County Recording, to the recorder's office. And uh, this will happen on closing day. And then on closing day, most likely around 4, 4 30, the recording uh, office will let us know, yes, this transaction closed. And then the keys can be handed over. So in my next video, you will see uh, the last uh, stages of the deal. Uh, yeah, just take a look. This will be episode number nine, the final one in this series. And thank you for watching.